When we tend to think about asset prices, we think of the expected return we get from an asset. So if you put um, some money in a bank, the expected return you get is the interest rate you get at the end of the year. In the same way that if you invest in a government bond, um, the government will pay you a certain amount of interest every year. Um, now, people say governments are safe, so the interest rate you're willing to accept from the government is relatively low. On the other hand, if I invest in a large basket of firms, which are subject to all kinds of business cycle shocks, as well as uh, governance issues, as well as competition that may make their returns risky, and by which I mean we don't know exactly what they're going to be, in order to compensate us for that extra risk, when we invest in equities, we may require a higher rate of return than we expect from either banks or from governments. The difference in that rate of return that we get between investing in a basket of equities and in government bonds is the equity premium. People have estimated this equity premium uh, in many countries across many different um, time frames. and have tended to come up with a number of around 5 to 6% per year, which then means that if I'm going to invest a pound in a government bond, as opposed to a pound in a bar basket of equities, this premium suggests that I need a return of something like five to 6% more to make me indifferent between investing in an equity and investing in government stock. This number, according to economic theory, is far too high. And that's what I'm gonna try and explain in this lecture.